Hey guys, welcome to this Expo tutorial. We will be taking a look at how we can store and retrieve data locally using user defaults. This method of storing data is pretty efficient, and we will be covering just the basics of how much we can accomplish. Storing data locally allows our users' data to persist while being easily accessible atomically. Let's get started. Alright, so let's first create a new Xcode project. So, um, single view application as usual. Let's call this, I don't know, user defaults tutorial. It's going to be a pretty small project, so I guess that's all we need. Um, yeah, I'll just save it on my desktop. All right. So, um, what we first have to do is set up all the views that we want. So we'll just use a simple uh, text view for this because that's all we need. So um, when we type something into the text view, we'll just have a button that we can save and then we can also have a button that can load the previous uh, text that we had in the text view so first let's put our text view on um, and as as for constraints I guess you can do whatever you want with it I'm just gonna put random constraints so zero 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 and a height of 128 seems nice all right now that we got our text view let's just remove all this text we don't need it uh, be gone text now Let's place our save button. So we look for a button. All right, and we're gonna call this save. Let's put this, I don't know, 12 above it. And let's actually center this. Um, here, to make this easily viewable, I'm just gonna change the background so you can see it. Let's make it system gray. Looks nice. No, it doesn't actually. Uh, now another button for retrieving the previously saved information. So like once you click save, if you click this uh, retrieve previous info button, then that'll just retrieve the last information you saved. All right, so we have all our views ready. I'm just gonna add constraints to this. Um, all right, so we got all our views ready. Now let's get right into the code. So we've already set up our view controller with the um, storyboards view controller, so we don't have to do anything with that. Now just right click, outlet it to the view controller class. Let's call this text view. And then get the save button too. Uh, we just need actions for this. Um, save text. So we'll call it save text and that action will allow us to save the text that's in the text view. And then we'll just retrie retrieve the previous info. So retrieve. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to have the save text action save the text views text. So when we say save text, we'll just say, um, so this is where we get into the user defaults. So you can just say user defaults dot standard dot set and then um, your value is your text view dot text so that's a text in the text view and just call it whatever you want so I'm just gonna call it um, cool text because I'm cool alright so now we have that so that is how you save information in the user defaults and that just saves it locally in, in the phone so you can retrieve it later um, you can always encrypt your information but we're not gonna do that right now you can encode it but uh, we're just gonna stick with the basics now for retrieving, we're going to get the object from the user defaults. And when we get this object, we need to um, specify that it is a string. Otherwise, it'll give us an error because it's going to transfer it as an any. And any is not the same thing as string. So let's say text view dot text because we want to get the text for the text view. And this is equal to user defaults dot standard dot object for key cool text and remember what I said earlier we have to specify that this is a string otherwise you're gonna get an error that this is any so we have to say as string and that's basically it so now if we test this out we should have our code working so let's see all right so our thing is here it is so let's type something in um, I don't know 
I like to code in Xcode because coding in Xcode is fun. It is fun. All right, so let's save this. And so it's safe, right? Now, if we exit out completely and we go back in, nothing's there, right? But wait, click retrieve previous info and it's right there. So that's basically it. So you save your information after you type it in. You save it. Uh, you can exit out of the app or do anything you need to. And later when you need to, you can retrieve your previous info. And that's it for the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you like and subscribe.